as a first time shooter of this gun, what do you think? I mean, as far as the uh, the recoil, I think it was a little bit overstated. You uh -huh. get more, uh, you get some of your bolt action rifles that actually have more kick than this. Um, although assault style for uh, platforming and, and, and it's a great rifle. I mean, and I, I, I'm, rifle, I'm impressed with the quality. Uh, with PCR, I can say uh, they've done their homework on this quite well. And, um, and uh, I think um, this probably won't be the only product I bought. I, I will buy from them, from this uh, company. Um, been following them when they were up there in Connecticut and they moved their operations down to South Carolina. Uh, long time fan of them, uh, just a better. Um, I'm very impressed with the company. I, I talked to them on the telephone, uh, emails, they asked, answered every question I had. Um, yes, no. And I, I didn't know anything about this rifle until I talked to them on the telephone about it. Yeah. The, and, uh, and with you. Atlantic Firearms. Uh, they have a, uh, a great lineup of PTR-91 uh, type rifles. They did a great job at uh, addressing those early emails that I had, you know, telling me about the differences and the, uh, and it, I was very pleased that uh, the overall process of it, uh, we'll definitely be doing business with them again in the future. Now the shipping process, you ordered this gun, now how long did it take for it to actually show up to the your local gun store so you could uh, pick it up? Literally from click, clicking on the email uh, to ordering it to receiving it took uh, four and a half days. I ordered it on a Monday and received it Friday evening. That is awesome. That is ridiculously awesome. That is right? awesome. So, um, customer service was great. Um, I received emails. I mean. As far as, and I'm sure you'll go into detail later, they, they you know, the, from the company and then also from the seller, um, the documentation on the gun, what they've done to uh, ensure quality and to pass that quality on to me, it, it, it's marked. Um, as we go through the warm-up process, uh, the break-in process to the barrel, um, things will be slow. Hopefully we'll do future videos when we actually start breaking it down and can actually get a scope on there. That is really cool. So what kind of ammo are you shooting? Is this expensive ammo? It looks like No, this BPA? is actually wolf ammo. I literally bought 500 rounds of this for $289. Get out of here. And this is uh, boy, this 308. 308 Winchester. Now, I use the same stuff in my AK, yeah. and I have no complaints about it. But it's, it's really it's really neat that you can shoot such a such a affordable ammunition exactly uh out of this and also you can it's 308 so you can get nice hunting rounds if you want or you know a whole variety of uh absolutely american made products I mean, too. it's a full metal jacket um 145 grain um nice and now you get one you get one with but uh, as everybody knows the h and k mags you can get these aluminum mags for like three or four dollars um one comes with the gun um i have two other uh, 20 mags at home. I also have just in case of some range restriction 10 mag as well um, Wow, it has a rail on it and everything. Yes, and that that's really that's cool. the thing that separates the earlier one Where you're getting the uh, they used to have the claw type mm -hmm. Where the new uh, the new a3 uh, AS a3 um, They're actually having the mounted rails on there that really separates this gun into to be that next level type now I'm not too familiar with this type of gun. What impressed me? I just picked it up right now, and I'm going to shoot it here pretty soon. It's light. It's yeah. not. It's not very yeah heavy. Um, it's 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 a large rifle, but at the same time, I mean, you're going to get the accuracy of a longer barrel, but it is lightweight. I mean, this thing. I mean, it weighs. I mean, the heaviest part is the barrel. Everything else it looks like to be polymer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really solid. Uh, really nicely built. Um, I, I tell you honest, I, I I might get one of these, and you told me I was going to. <laughs> I, I, I think I, I think you might want to look at it. I mean, you take it, um, shoot these rounds off. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, then I mean, with you being the expert and me uh, actually getting back into uh, shooting for the first time in a very long time, uh, let me know what you think, and then uh, we will. Uh, We'll progress this gun and see how it works out. So are we pretending to be experts on this gun? Absolutely not. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. But but I think uh, a lot of people when they purchase a gun, uh, they're not experts and they're looking for a good alternative. I mean, it's this is a a, a very affordable rifle, so it's not like we're going out and uh, trying to be you know the best sniper in the world. Uh, but 
for the affordability and yes. first impressions, I think that uh, we're pretty good judges of that. I think so. I mean, for for the guy who does not have uh, $1,500 to spend on a 308 style um, rifle, I'm not saying that this is a, a, a running, shooting 308 rifle. I don't think it's in comparison to what you uh, would get with your... Uh, like an AK or something like that, or yeah, more of exactly. a salt type rifle. Um, I, I think uh, for somebody who wants to actually do some great hunting, um, and also have that uh, budget home defense um, um, or perimeter defense, I should say, would not want to shoot this in, indoors. Well, let me let me give it a shot, and uh, I mean, I'm shot yet, so let me let me give it a shot. I think so. I think you'll you'll find it to be um, a great a great uh, great rifle. All right, so we got what five rounds in here? There's five rounds in there. All right, I got to work around the tripod, right? <laughs>